Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to your second database design series. This video, we're going to be talking about the relation. Very basic. Don't freak out, but it is math. We're not going to go super in-depth with math if you want to know more about the math. I have blogs on my website about that. CalebCurry.com forward slash blogs. Advertising. Not blogs advertising. I was advertising. Anyways, basically a relation is just a connection between data. So let's just think of a silly example. If we had the two sets of numbers, 2, 4, and then the other set was 6, 8. And then we kind of combined these sets. So we kind of like crossed here, and then we crossed down here. And where these cross is our new set. So we have the combined set of 6, 2, and then we have the combined set of 6, 4, and then we have the combined set of 8, 2, and then the combined set of 8, 4. And like you're probably wondering like what the heck does that have to do with database design? Well, somewhat. We kind of do the same thing with database design. Relation in relational database comes from this mathematical concept. But rather than combining sets of numbers, we're combining um, attributes of real world things. So let's apply this to the database. First you need to know two terms. The first one is an entity. The second one is an attribute. So an entity is anything we store data about. Attribute are the things that we store. So if an entity is a person, an attribute would be their name, their uh, username, their password, their hair color, their address, their phone number, their relationship status, the person they're in a relationship with, the orders that they've made, or whatever, whatever it is. It just depends on what you need to store for that specific application. So entity is what we store the data about. Attribute is what we store. When we apply this to this, this uh, connection with the, the, the relation, we have the attribute types and the attribute values. So let's say we have this person over here and we'll name him Caleb because it's an awesome name. Alright, and then we will also give him a username uh, Caleb Curry with no spaces. And we'll give him a password pi123. And then over here we have the set of attributes for a table. We have name, username, and password. We can make this connection of data. So the name is Caleb, the username, Caleb Curry, password is pi123. That makes sense, although graphically it looks like a mess. So we store these in tables which is exactly what we were doing with the relations. So we have up here in our columns, we have, uh, we have the name, and then we have the username, and then the password. Don't worry if you can't read my handwriting, you, you, you get it. We store this in a table. So these are the things we need to connect with this person over here, which we named Caleb. And I accidentally erased them. Whatever. We'll just leave it at that. So that's Caleb. And we want to store this information in this table, which is a graphical way to, to illustrate how we're storing data in a database. So we take his name, Caleb. We take his username, Caleb Curry. We take his password, pi123. We kind of get this, this table concept. It almost looks like a uh, spreadsheet that we talked about in the last video. Although it is slightly different and we'll be talking about that as time goes on. This guy is the entity that we're storing information about. These are the attributes that we need to store about this person or any other person. So we enter specific values 
for each one of these attributes to make the relation between the attributes and the entity. Hopefully that makes kind of somewhat sense, and if it doesn't, don't freak out. This all kind of, I mean, this is complex thought, and you don't necessarily need to understand every single detail to design a database. So I'm just trying to explain things, and we'll get through it. These are the attributes of this person, this entity. An entity is basically just anything we store data about. It's something. It can be a person in this case, but it can also be an order. It can be a, uh, a customer. It can be a client. It can be a employee, an employer. Whatever it is, it doesn't even have to be a person. So now, the relation idea, you kind of understand that. We're just making the connection between the attributes and the entity, the value, the, the entity attributes, we're entering that in the database. That's, that's kind of a weak explanation, but honestly it, it doesn't really matter that much for getting into basic database design. So if you want to learn more about that, just look up relation and database design, you'll figure it out. So now we have the entity over here, and then we have the attributes. So in table terms, you probably know rows and columns. You might not know specifically what they are, and I'm going to tell you. This right here is a row. Can you see that? I might be running out of space here. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. So this, all of these values are a row. So a row is all of the attribute values for a specific entity. So this row, it'd be easier just to go like this, this row points to that entity, that person. Pretty simple. A column are all of the values for a specific attribute type. So the attribute type is username. We could have another person, Billy Joe, and his name, his password can be pizza with a U and his name can be Bill. This is another person in our table. So this is talking about a different person. We have this person over here. This is pretty chill. Well, this row is talking about this entity. The username is a column where we have all of the attribute types username. So Caleb Curry, Billy Joe, and whatever more if we put more values into the table. Okay, so this is getting a little messy, so I'm just gonna clean it up a bit. Ah, ah, erased. So just to summarize a bit, we have very first thing, we have an entity type. That's that's the word you want to know. Entity type. Which we talk about entities. I'll just I'll just tell you what an entity type is in just a sec. Entity type. And then we have the attribute type. So basically the type means it's a category. So the person was a specific entity, the Caleb, the guy who's named Caleb. That was an entity, it was the person. Then we also had the entity uh, Joe or Billy or whatever his name was. Those were two separate people, two separate entities, although you could tell that they were somewhat similar. They were both in the same table. They were both uh, talking about the username, password, and so forth. So the entity type is user. A specific entity would be Caleb or Bill or Jamie, or Jake, or whoever it is. So the entity type is basically the category of the entities that we're storing. The category is a user, and all the, all the entities within it should be a user. So my camera stopped recording by itself for some reason, which is super annoying. But anyways, our entity type is the category of entities, such as user. Every single entity should be a user. Caleb was a user, Billy was a user, we could have Jimmy, John, we could have uh, Catherine, we could have Caitlin, we could have 
Cassandra, we could have, you get the point. The attribute type is basically the categories of attributes. So we had the, uh, the username, we had the, the name, we had the password. These are attribute types because we don't actually have a specific value. If, like, no one's name is name. When we actually give these specific values, they no longer become types and they become specific examples. So this guy over here, here's our entity. We can store, so basically, here's our entity. We can store attributes about this entity. The username can be Caleb Curry, blah, blah, blah. The name can be Caleb. And the password can be uh, pi123. So these are specific attributes about that guy. Now, all these are all like complex terms and blah 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 blah. Who really cares? What really matters is can you put this into a table for people to understand? Who really cares if you know the terms? But I mean, I'm sure your professor cares, so make him happy. Anyways, in a table, the columns are the attributes. So we could have, for example, an ID, a password, a username, an email. We could keep going. Address, a phone number, and whatever else. And then a row is where we give a value for every single one of these attributes, all talking about one entity. So like this guy, this guy right here. Well, his ID, for example, 72, his username is Caleb Curry, his email is coolguy at hotmail.com, blah, 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 blah. All of this row talks about this guy. So basically, just think, attributes are columns, entities are individual rows. Sweet. Then this whole thing right here, this is the table, and that is the entity type. So the entity type would be user because every single row within this table should be a user. Oh, another thing I would like to mention real quick, um, another name in mathematics for a row is a tuple or a tuple. I think it's tuple. I don't really know. But that is another term you will hear. So yeah, tuple is a row. Thank you. So yeah, sorry for like yelling and getting all intense, but fun. All right. So that's all I have to say in this video. If you want to subscribe, you better do that like right now. Just click subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you better subscribe and also click like. If you have subscribed, thank you. And I will see you guys in the next video where we'll be talking about relational database management systems. Another big word which we will explain shortly. So see you around.